I mean, I'm like, I want to do everything now. I feel like uh, almost a decade of my life was wasted. And now I'm just like, I'm healthy. I'm free. Every day is a gift. This is amazing. I want to do it all. Hello. Hello. This is Josie Lewis. And I'm here with Elise Berry. Elise is in my Art Revenue Coaching membership. And I have learned a little bit about her studio practice and her art business. And it's legit, my friend. She makes custom ornaments. And with her revenue from her custom ornaments, she bought a house, which is crazy to me. A Amazing. So I cannot wait to hear a little bit about her story. Elise, take it from here. Uh, like Josie said, my name is Elise and I am a landscape ornament painter. And I also paint ornaments for realtors around the country. Um, and they are of the houses that um, people sell and then they gift them to their clients on closing day. And so that's what I'm doing now. I wasn't always a landscape uh, ornament painter. I actually was a glass blower, um, but I got diagnosed with Lyme disease growing up or uh, in my early 20s, and my life sort of changed. But I knew at like the age of two or three that I was going to be an artist. I was really, really sick for quite a few years in my 20s, and they I saw dozens of doctors. No one could diagnose me correctly. I got diagnosed with lupus, fibromyalgia, two heart conditions, a brain tumor, um, just so many things. And it got to the point where I was bedridden and I would need my mom to help me get out of bed. I, I tried to do some art on the side during that and just, you know, some painting I used to do. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get into flow. It was like my brain broke and all of my skills were gone. All of like every ability I had with art was gone. And I just, I, I was just devastated for a couple of years. And finally, with the encouragement from my mother, I was like, why don't I try painting on an ornament? It's this little thing. It's only three inches in diameter. Maybe my brain can handle this. And so I painted a, an ornament on my grandmother's house and it took me quite a while, but it turned out so beautiful. It was, I mean, I was shocked by it and I was like, wow. So there's something I can still do with art. And so I started to paint on ornaments. And at first it was just painting for family and friends and friends of friends and that sort of thing. And then one day I was like, I, um, one of our neighbors has a big barn and they, they have a little coffee shop in it and a gift shop of all Iowa goods. And she was having like a Christmas art show. And I just brought like two boxes, like this much, I think just to show her. And I was like, can I be in your art show? And she took pity on me. She knew my whole health story. And she was like, your work is beautiful, honey, but it's a little bit too like high end, like the price point of what people are going to spend at this is two or three dollars. And you're asking, you know, like forty dollars an ornament at the time. And I was like, OK, well, can I just do it anyways, like just to see what people like? And she took pity on me and let me do it. So I gathered all of my boxes of ornaments. And I think I had maybe like four, four of these total or something. And I just put them on a table. And I, my, my whole goal was just go in there and interact with people, talk to people, ask them which ones they like, which ones they don't, what they resonate with, what color sky do they like, what scenes, you know, are they gravitating toward? And I was like, it's fine. I'm going in it with no expectations. I'm not going to sell anything. It's fine. And I had like, really, I was like, nothing's going to happen. So the first person that talked to me bought six and I was like, what <laughs> you, you want to buy six of these? Are you serious? And it got to a point where just like 20 minutes into the show, I realized I was going to run out of, uh, the boxes that I brought to, you know, hand them out. So I called my parents and I was like, can you go to the local cupcake shop and get the little single cupcake boxes? And so they, they did that and they brought my boxes and I sold so many that day. I, I, I can't remember now, but I remember I sold like hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth. And I was just like, what, this can be a thing. People want this. And then that January, a realtor reached out to me and she said, can you paint some ornaments for me that I'm going to give my clients. And I was like, I'm, oh, sure. Like, I'll try that. What, why not? But I tried it and it turned out really well. And then that realtor, she worked for like an umbrella of realtors or like a big group. And so she told others and then that grew. And then 
So this was in, in Cincinnati. This is where that realtor's from. And then those realtors broke off and made their own groups. So I am doing, you know, working with lots of realtors in Cincinnati. And that was my first, first grouping. And I still work with all of those people. And after that, I was like, okay, so this is a thing too. So then this is the box that I bring around. So now I pitch myself in person to realtors. So if you're someone like me that is like, <laughs> I know, if you're someone like me that is scared of social media and you're scared of like getting started because you're like, Instagram is scary. I don't know how to do it. There are other ways to sell your art. It might be a little more old school. I show up with my box of examples and I've got like summer and winter scenes in here and some fall ones too. And then I always, I do a little research ahead of time and I find a house that the realtor is selling and I paint the house. And then I, mm -hmm, so they've got one already. And so then I put it in a cute little box, you know, with some sparkle and, you know, dress it up all cute. And this is what I give the realtor. And so I'm solving that issue for them of like, here is the gift that you can give to your clients. And so that it works. It works really well. When I first started doing it, I would just give them a gift of like a stock house that I painted. But I realized if you do the extra mile and you find one that they're actually selling and you like that is your foot in the door. And so that's what I do now. And I, I am terrible at Instagram. If you look at my Instagram, it, it's like DOA, you know, there's not much on there, but you can still make a living selling your art if you're willing to find other avenues. That's where I'm at right now. But the reason I'm taking ARC is I am just like at the tail end of my Lyme disease journey. And I, you know, I did treatment for many, many years and it was really, really brutal, but I, I feel pretty healthy now. And I'm like, finally on my own. And I want to scale my business from the make one, sell one model to something. Yes. Mm -hmm, to something that's a little more sustainable. This is very like it's time consuming. And it was great. It was like a gentle start for me and just very, very easy to get started, but I'm, I'm ready to move on. And I mean, there, I mean, I would say like with my ornaments, it looks like here's some of my examples of ones that are, can you pull one out and show us yeah. a, a close, a close up there? Oh, sure. there we go. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Look so at that. this one's a New York, this is a central park one. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Yeah. So, um, so I know that my ornaments look very like one of a kind, but I would say if there are other people like me that are making similar things, something I would suggest is trying to batch your art. So I will sit down and I'll paint 25 night skies and they all look exactly the same. And then I'll paint 25 blue skies, 25 pink sunsets. And then I'll take one ornament of each of those skies and I'll paint the same scene. So a snowboarding scene or, you know, snowmobiling or kids building a snowman. And so every customer thinks, oh, I'm getting this very unique one of a kind painting. Yeah, yeah, you are. But it didn't take me that kind of time, you know, because it was batched. And so that's been a way that I've been able to sell what I'm selling and actually make money. And also I've just gotten faster at it. So January through October, my main business is working with realtors. But when the real estate market slows down in the winter, that's actually the time that Christmas season picks up. So October through December, I am slammed with uh, Christmas ornament orders. And so that I would say it almost flip flops to 90% is, uh, you know, pre-made Christmas ornaments and then 10% with the realtors. So two years ago, I had a customer reach out and they asked for me to paint a, an NFL stadium on an ornament. And I was like, oh, good Lord. <laughs> uh, not sure if I can do that, but I said yes to it. And I painted an extra large ornament. And what I didn't know is the ornament was going to the general manager of the football team. And so the following year, the general manager's wife reached out to me and said, hey, we're having a holiday party. Can you paint quite a few dozen um, of the stadiums? And I was like, yeah, totally. <laughs> so that was my biggest order for that year. And I painted two extra just because I was scared like one of them would break or something. But I have one left, one, another one sold just to someone else. But this is the one left over that I almost don't want to sell but it's of the, the stadium. So, well, I, I would like to 
just highlight a couple of things that Elise has said. She uh, had, has, I mean, she's told us an amazing story <laughs> and, and so many fascinating <laughs> pieces of her journey are, you know, just spectacular. My Etsy is art with Elise, A-R-T, and then with Elise and Elise is E-L-I-S-E. And then I'm Elise Ann Barry and Ann has an E. Um, on Instagram. I've kind of been on my own for two months. Like I purchased this house, moved in, you know, all of July was like, okay, like just get your life settled. August was sort of my first month of like, wow, I feel like an adult again of like, you know, all of my twenties were just, I'm just dealt with illness and being sick. And like, now I just feel like I'm like a rebirth of like, I'm 21 again or 22 and I'm out in the world for the first time again. And so I really feel like right now I'm on the ground level of like building a new business again. And I mean, I'm like, I want to do everything now. I feel like almost a decade of my life was wasted. And now I'm just like, I'm healthy. I'm free. Every day is a gift. This is amazing. I want to do it all. Oh my gosh. So amazing. So amazing. You've been so generous, Josie. Oh gosh. I really appreciate it. And all of you. Thank you. I, I love taking your arc your arc stuff that it's so good so good yeah thank you oh yeah it's been it's been so fun to connect with all these amazing genius artists and hear people's stories and I love it so much so (laughs) thank you friend have a great afternoon Mm -hmm. and I'm sure we'll talk again soon